Hello and welcome to today's video. My name's Katie. Uh, this is going to be a slightly different video today. Uh, not that different really, but I am in my bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom. Today I'm going to get rid of my curtain bangs because I'm quite frankly sick of them. Despite my best efforts to cut them and style them according to the videos I watched by Brad Mondo who was the best I have to say, uh, but unfortunately I still wasn't convinced that I could do my own curtain bangs convincingly. So I've decided to get rid of them and go back to my normal old regular uh, fringe style today. So first thing I'm going to do is put my hair up in a ponytail, a low ponytail to get rid of it. To get it out of the way I should say, I'm not getting rid of it. I do have quite long hair, so this can be a bit of a stretch, so to speak. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Waiting music. <laughs> so yeah, they just kept uh, getting in my face all the time when I was trying to read a book or draw, and it was just too annoying. And I thought, what's the point of a hairstyle that you have to clip back all the time to keep it out of the way, just to be able to do stuff? So. It's going. So you may be expecting one of those videos that's, oh, I've never cut my own hair before and I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm sorry that's not one of those videos. So I'm used to cutting my own hair, although I am not a professional hairdresser, so whether or not I have any idea what I'm actually doing uh, is a different story. Uh, now I know, as you can see, my hair um, also needs dyeing as well. You can see my roots, um, and yes, I do have a lot of grey hair. I found my first grey hair when I was 17. And for the first few years I plucked them, but then it just became too many. Yeah, I just started to dye my hair instead after a couple of years, and it's been dyed ever since. Um, and I've been getting more and more grey hair ever since. White hair it is actually, not grey, even though it looks grey. But I kind of have this fantasy that one day, uh, when I'm older, it will have all turned white eventually, and then I'll look like a princess. Yeah, that would be cool. Either that or because um, white is a nice base to dye hair, um, obviously people bleach their hair, but naturally white hair, I can just go flame red and just like be a queen. One day my hair will look amazing, it's always been a bit of a mess, but um, I feel like it's slowly improving. But um, having very long hair, I find that dyeing it can be difficult. Um, I'm not like a two boxer or anything, I just use one box of hair, of hair dye each time and then I'll do my roots and then just kind of concentrate on the upper part and then it kind of blends into the lower part and I think it looks okay. So I haven't been to a hairdresser since, it must be, it was just before I went to Japan the last time, so it was in 2008. Uh, so I've been growing this for 13 years. I have trimmed it a few times, but yeah, it's a self-cut, self-styled for 13 years now. And the reason why I haven't gone to a hairdresser is because I'm quite frankly terrified of hairdressers so <laughs> I'm not hairdressers per se I I've met some very lovely hairdressers but I have social anxiety and so the thought of being trapped in a chair and having to make small talk with someone wielding a sharp instrument is actually quite scary to me um, so I I put up with it for a long time and then I finally um, kind of couldn't convince myself to keep going anymore after a few semi bad experiences which left me with bad hair and I just decided to start growing it and see what happens and then I realized I could cut my own fringe no problem um, whether you think it's a good cut I don't know we'll find out um, and then the, in, the ends I just trim very occasionally just to to get rid of the the really dry part anyway let's get on with the cutting shall we all right so this is what I do now I'm not a professional hairdresser so don't like take this as advice this is just what I do it may be wrong but yeah, so I get the fringe and I just make sure there's no bits that are like back here that shouldn't be. I don't think there is. And there's no kind of wispy bits that, see that shouldn't be in there. Um, yeah, so that looks okay, I think. I think. So I give it a bit of a comb. And now I've got these scissors which um, husband assures me are from a professional hair cutting kit. So that's... Uh, one step good, I think. One step good, you know what I mean. Alright, so I just decide how long I'm going to cut it to start with. Make sure my fingers are even. And then just give it the chop. 
I usually go most of the way across and then I come in from the other end like that and if there's any little straggly bits I just chop them and oh yeah it feels better already all right it's probably still a tiny bit long actually yeah so I'm gonna go in and chop again so maybe a couple of I don't even know how long that is is that straight I don't know. So come in and chop a bit more off. I have to say, having professional scissors makes a huge difference. I don't know how much they cost, but yeah, get some. All right, so yeah, that's all right. Now I always find that it's a bit longer at the sides. See that? Um, and sometimes I don't mind that, and other times it gives me the irrits, so um, I'm going to cut them off. So what I do, and this is probably not recommended, but I just get the, I just grab a hold of it, and I just drop, drop, oh, it, <laughs> when it gets so close to my eyes it freaks me out, but yeah, uh, okay, so I get, and I chop. Oops, there we are, yeah, and then, is it okay, I don't know, get in there and get those extra bits, but try not to cut your eyebrows, that's probably not recommended, uh, I doubt Brad Mondo's ever cut anyone's eyebrows off accidentally, <laughs> or maybe he has, who knows. Uh, alright, so, uh, maybe, maybe a bit more there, oh, <laughs> I'm coming in here now, but that's, you know, that's life, um, alright, yeah, I think that'll do it for now, what I'm also going to do is cut my bottom hair, no, my back hair, no, neither of those sound right, this hair back here, so, what I normally do, and I don't do this as often, because I'm, I'm trying to still grow my hair, so if you want to grow your hair just don't cut it it's as simple as that but i like to trim the dry ends off um i used to get split ends but i very rarely do anymore so um i don't know why but i don't need to worry about that so what i'm doing now is i'm just putting in i don't know if you can see it but i'm just putting in a ponytail towards the bottom here and that keeps it straight i hope then what i do is i bring it over my shoulder and so that way, even though it's coming across to the side, and normally it would kind of go like that, um, this keeps it even, I hope, anyway, that's the plan. And then I can just go down with my fingers down towards the end, and see how it gets a lot thinner towards the end? Yeah, it's inevitable, but um, I still don't like it. Decide how much I want to chop. That'll probably make it look a little bit thicker. There, and then just go across and hope that it looks straight when I undo my hair and just get rid of those little straggly bits all right and uh, that's how I cut my own hair so it's not that hard um, I mean probably the first few times it's pretty scary because you, you know you're taking a risk but there's uh, so many videos on YouTube about how to do it yourself that I say give it a go and it's well, I don't know if you'd say it's worked for me, but but it saved me a lot of anxiety anyway, and I kind of enjoy having control over my own hair. I can cut off exactly as much or as little as I want. I can put it in whatever style I want. I can, like, try different fringes without, you know, any hassle at all. I feel like this is turning into a cut your own hair advocacy video, but it really wasn't meant to be. It does suit me better, actually, I think. I like that my eyes are more visible and it's not just like hanging down on the sides of my face but that's just me just have whatever hair you want dye it whatever color you want enjoy life don't worry about your boss I'm gonna go apply for a job now bye mm. Mm. Mm.